So I think it's gonna be really fun trying to get this geo lined up. Um, so Jim, now we can just let the yellow out a tiny bit. Around a year ago, we took the keel out and had discovered the keel axle had been broken for quite some time. Today, we finally put it back in with a new axle. Got our ropes for the keel. And the non-skid is finished. Now I just have to walk on it and see how it feels. It might be slipperier than the other one, but maybe not. Do we want to do I think we might need a third coat. Yeah, just where it's wet, it's a little slippery, huh? Yeah. Yeah, like right there. Yeah. Okay, I think. I feel like we won't regret a third coat, but we might regret not, right? right. Yeah. Mow. So the question is, do we put the keel in anyway and then just paint? I on either side of the ropes or do we um i think we do that because we're not going to be standing on no the, exactly on the ropes, we can't so. stand under the ropes anyway and this is pretty good yeah so. and it just maybe means like just on that half we put like from the ropes over we do the third coat yeah exactly okay well that's what we do might mean my patents estimates are a little on the light side <laughs> too no we just order more Let's see all right, I just spent a bit of time working out which rope goes to which part of the keel. So the rope with red on it, which we will replace with a rope with red on it, goes to the back part of the keel, which holds it up. And then the rope with black on it, we're gonna replace with some yellow and black and it goes to the front of the keel, which holds it down. Wrap your head around that. So I just taped a little rope to this big one to see if that works. Okay. <laughs> this rope should fit in here. I can feel it pulling apart. Why little ropey? If I grab some little needle nose pliers. Oh yeah, that's a good idea. Or the, even the surgical stuff. Yeah. Oh, got him. Yeah. Okay. Now we just have to pull 30 meters of rope through because I could only get it from the other direction. Oh, it's already through. That was easy. So I think it's going to be really fun trying to get this gear lined up because we have to lift it by the ropes then line the hole in the keel up with the hole in the boat to pass the axle through but not only that on each side of the keel these two spaces also need to line up with the hole so we somehow need to have the keel in the right spot pass the rod through one spacer through the keel through the other spacer through to the other side of the boat and it's a awfully tight fit, so we're just gonna have to see, see how it goes. Use a hammer. Use a hammer. Bang, bang, bang. All right, so there's a bunch of different types of fancy slip knots you can do to attach a keel to a boat, uh, but I'm gonna go with a bow line because it's simple and easy and then I know I can undo it. Um, so we make our little loop the rabbit comes out of the hole, he runs around the tree, and he runs back into his hole. And it's a little hard because I'm trying to do it really tight because I don't want a huge gap here. Makes the bowline a little harder to get, but I think it should be a big enough tail. And that shouldn't come undone until I break it, and then it's easy to break. You just kind of push that through, and yeah. 
So the idea is that we can undo it if we ever want to, but it shouldn't be able to undo itself. If I can't get it undone, nothing will. <laughs> okay, cool. So I'm going to slide this one through just a bit and then you can put it on there. And do you want to just push it back until it's like not poking out at all? Yeah. So we're putting the spaces on the inside. Huh? That's good? Okay. So we now have the two spaces positioned using a pipe and the other um the rod that would turn the axle that turned out to be a bit too small so hopefully when we lift the keel up in there they stay in the right spot and then we don't have to try and align them with the keel in because i'm not sure how we would do that we just realized with this here i'm not going to be able to tell when it's lined up so we're going to try use this one where i can at least see on either side of it a little <laughs> this is going to be really hard i think There we go. Yeah, because at least now I can kind of see if the hole's getting close. Okay. We had two of the marina guys positioned under the boat, Jim on the winch, and me inside, and we started lifting the keel. Maybe give the red one a little pull, babe. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Because that should bring it forwards, hopefully. Yeah, that's going in where it's meant to. You going? Yep. She's moving into the right spot slowly. Okay, and wait one sec. Um, okay. Uh, Ronnie? Fuera posición para la the spacer. Para la onde. Un poco a la la izquierda de la barco. Little more. Um, but you came about like half a, maybe f four centimeters past me. So just see if you can really slowly. Um, so Jim, now we can just let the yellow out a tiny bit. Stop. Yeah. One more. Yeah, more. Stop, stop, stop. Okay, I'm in through at least part of it. Hold on. Okay, I'm through with one piece. Now I've got to try with the actual axle. <laughs> let me check that that came all the way through. Yeah. Ah, uh, the axle. We'd ordered one online that ended up being just a little bit too small and wobbly, so Will sourced a new axle in Germany that was shaped um, to precision by a German like watchmaker and sent to Mexico. So yes, it is a perfect fit. We used the smaller axle first to line it up closely and then it was time to try with the perfect fitting axle. Okay, now we need to put the, the other one. We can try. The fat, one. <laughs> the fat one is better if we can do it. We'll try. I tried to. Um, I tried to sand it a little bit, so we'll see. I think I think that one is too muy gordo. See. But we'll we try. We'll try. Yeah. Do we want a little more soap, or you think it's good? No, I think it's good. Wow! <laughs> well, <laughs> I didn't think uh, we were gonna do it. Uh, Maybe more. a couple more times just to get it flat. Uh, yeah. Do you want a little thing to hit it? Like, 
¿Está bien? Gracias, Ronnie. What a job, huh? Man. Yeah. That was close to impossible. <laughs> We did it, though. <laughs> Boy, man. That's one of those jobs that just... Thank you, Ronnie. <laughs> This is my keel dance. Cause the keel's in. And while I'm moving, the keel is not. With this keel, having it normal makes you realize how bad it was because especially underwater, but even when she was out of the water like this, you just could grab the keel and go like blip, 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 and now it's solid, which hopefully means when we sleep at night, the keel doesn't go bang, bang, bang. So I'm really pumped. That's a really big thing to get her back in. So awesome. And it was so easy. <laughs> We really love having a swing keel because it allows access to very shallow waters. Chuffed only draws 0.8 meters or less than three feet with the keel up. Jimmy Cornell has written some really great articles on his experiences owning and loving swing keeled aluminium boats, which you can find online with a quick Google search. Alrighty, so now that the keel is in, I've just got to put these little covers back on. You can see the keel axle here. And basically we just need to pop an o-ring in to stop any water leaking through, which hopefully it barely will anyway now since that actually fits. And then we pop these covers on and voila, the keel will be in and done. And just when you think only the easy job's left, I guess you've got to put these screws in so that they fit behind this and this before you can get any other screws in. So I... <laughs> Even though this is meant to be the easy job, I almost didn't get it. Well, it took like half an hour, but I got the two covers on. And I put this cover on earlier too. So that's been my morning. Meanwhile, Jim is very nearly finished the third coat or finished yeah, finished third coat nice good timing how's it does it look even -ish? yeah it looks good i think that does look a lot better huh <laughs> you've been crouched for a long time huh Ugh. yay thanks for watching check out the last episode if you haven't already to catch up with the entire refit And you can become a patron for extra behind the scene footage, as well as to help us sail and save animals. Until next time, stay chuffed everybody.